level. That's how much this uh, land slopes that I work on. But I've got the van up on uh, ramps so I can, you know, check the fluid levels at a reasonably level uh, position of the van. Anyway, I have uh, moved on to the front axle and springs, all of that business. And I've set up a nifty little, um, just so I can swing it around and work on both sides at the same time, prep it all and paint it all at the same time without having to lift anything over. I can uh, swing this, Oof. well at the moment, I can manoeuvre it onto these two workhorses and muck around with all this. And then I can get them out of the way. And swing it all the way around. It's heavy, I've got to say. I've got to go slowly. Get it swinging all the way around and then work on this side. So I can undercoat all of one side, bring it back around. It's heavy. Swing it over and work on this side. Only one patch or one fill in this entire thing. Just a loose bit of timber there that wasn't worth sticking back in so I pulled it out and just filled that. So this is all ready for undercoating and painting. So then I'll have front wheels, front axle out of the way. And then I'll move on to the other stuff. Well, with only one fill required on this whole axle, everything else in good condition, I've just uh, given it all a light sand back. I can now undercoat all the metal and the timber. And a perfectly still day. One of the rare ones. No wind. Okay, we need to spin the wheel all the way around. Check out. Go, 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 go. Spin. All the way. There it is. Okay. So we have movement in that, but that's all. It's not. They can still slide up and down yeah. because it doesn't have that. Yeah, it's a fair bit there. You wouldn't you wouldn't like it if it was uh, yeah full use. Yeah, no, I mean I've got movement, but I've got you got more on that side. Yeah, and I reckon it's simply because of the thickness of that washer. Well, actually, in real life too, you wouldn't want it all the way yeah. close either. You'd want some movement. Yeah. But that's too much, I'd say. Probably too much. Yeah. It's just missing that washer. Yeah. Which is not a real issue. But just to move around the uh, property, you'll be fine. Yeah. All right. So I'm not sure what's going to happen to that one, but big well, angle. It might. It might. We'll just see what happens. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna get it to the gram, really. Yep. All right. Hang on, let me pull my pants up. Bring my feet out of the way. Ready? Yep. Oh, no. All right, I'm out of the way. Help, help me, help me, because it's gonna get my wrists here. Gotcha. Shit, 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 shit. Ouch. All right. Now we just gotta put that one there. I think I'll get this rod out. I think we can just both lift the wheel together here, and I'll grab this, all right? Come around to, if you can get around that. So we're just getting here first. Yep. And to the ground. Hold that for a minute while I get a brick. I got it. Oh, there's a brick in front of that. Damn it. <laughs> Give me something. Uh, there's a railway thing there. Alright. This one's going to go in there. Let it go. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn and park it there. Well, I've basically now got front and back wheels and axles completed. I've also got the larger of the, um, the turntable, uh, for lack of its proper term, uh, all completely completed. 
And the other thing is that I've got the, the one that sits on top and also takes all the joists for the platform. Uh, as you can see, it's painted a heritage green colour, which technically isn't part of my uh, colour scheme. However, it's way up underneath the carriage and it's in very good condition, well coated, well paint coated, and um, it's all in good condition, so I don't think I'm going to rub it back and paint it within line with my colour scheme. And all of the platform timbers, which you will see eventually, are also in that heritage green, and all in very good condition and well coated. They just need a wet rag and clean a bit of the dust and dirt off them, and again, all of that's going to get uh, pretty much covered, so I figure I'm not going to work on that. It's a waste of my time. And the green is not far off what my base colour of my wagon, gypsy wagon caravan, is going to be anyway. So I think it'll blend. I think it'll be alright. It's only one thing to do now. So I am very, very keen to put this together see exactly what I'm dealing with platform wise yeah time to put it together move on to the next exciting phase of building the actual wagon which is going to be very exciting the problem is I'm having a tough time really tough time finding framing timbers second hand you know, uh, like everything else, the timber in this country has suffered a little bit from the inflation. And the moment you do find some secondhand stuff on Marketplace or something like that, it's snapped up within seconds. You've really got to be quick. So it's like constant vigilance. Stay on top of that, otherwise I'll be forced to go out and buy brand new pine framing. Uh, the size that I want and pay today's dollar for it. If it comes to that, then so be it. Time to put this thing together. So, what's the plan? Are they going next or? Or, um, uh, they're the platform, so they're last. So we got to put what, the turntable on and then run the bearers. Get the, uh, huh? you got the right sides. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. Assume it wouldn't matter. You wouldn't think so, they look the same. I'm assuming that's just sitting up like that because it's on an angle. We need to go with this in the ground. There we go. Well, we've got a basic assembly going on here. Uh, we do think we have to swap around these two bearers uh, because this one has a slight bow in it and it would favour this side because this needs to be pulled over and down onto the spring which lifts our turning wheel so we're thinking at the moment we'll just swap them over and see if it's a better fit the turning wheel is supposed to have a king pin or something in the middle and I'm assuming a large bolt with a nut um, to stop it from separating from the bottom turntable which didn't come with this so I'm going to have to come up with a solution for that but we have a basic setup at the moment We've determined how long this thing is now of course on top still has to be the platform which will go out over the wheels so I do have an over the wheels over the top platform which is good that'll give me a bit of scope for 
widening and lengthening the uh, the build. We'll have a look at it again tomorrow just to um, make sure we got it all right. I would love to be working on flat level ground, but I just don't have it. So I've got to work with what I've got. But so far so good. It's looking good. Very exciting. Very sexy. I was actually going to go camping, kayaking this weekend. As we have the perfect weather for it. But I was too excited about uh, getting this put together. Anyway, we'll get back to this tomorrow. Hey, here it is, right here beside you, behind you. Surely I can take a washer off one of these. Yes. Pinch your washer. I'll go with one of these short ones. Are you kidding me? Why don't any of you short ones have washers? Are they not meant to? These ones do. Just picked up a uh, burr of steel. Well folks, we have a cart essentially put together. A little bit of mucking around, determining uh, which bolts go where as far as length goes. We have found that we are short some of the bolts. We need four lengthy bolts across these metal bearers uh, for the center support. It runs across underneath and 
obviously that's just to stop the center from sagging and I do need to find one more bolt for the back spring here which I didn't have so I've got to go out and buy one of those and probably buy the four bolts I need there which weren't in my uh, cardboard thing with all the bolts in it that came with the whole uh, cart. It's only natural I guess that a few are going to go missing over a period of time. But it's looking fantastic. It's come together well. The full turntable is uh, fully fixed off. I will be very soon moving on to the build and I cannot build under here so it will come out and find a new permanent position out in the uh, weather but I'll tarp it every night until I'm done and I'm still looking for that framing timber I'm toying with the idea of lengthening and going wider than this frame I want to be able to somewhere up here at this level will be a bed and I want to put a double bed in so I need to cater and I will be doing the five degree walls in fact what I'll be uh, building here is a bit of a hybrid I'll put a picture up showing the different styles that I found of gypsy wagons or Vardo wagons whatever you want to call them uh, and there's at least five different you know, distinct styles uh, and I'm going for a hybrid between a Redding and a Burton. The difference being the Redding has the five degree pitched walls and the Burton are straight and square. But I'm basically choosing between the Redding and the Burton and doing a mix of those two. There's still many things I don't know about this. This is my something to do with my brake system but I don't think I'll be putting a brake system on it. It'll just be getting moved to a place and parked. Okay, so now I'm on the hunt for actual building material. A mini house, tiny house type build. Believe it or not, that cart is relatively level. Man, the ground is everywhere but level. We've got one wheel sitting on the ground. That's the high point. And then three wheels had to be leveled with varying blocks of timber and chocks. To basically give me a nice level platform to work off. <laughs> Makes life a lot easier. So it'll be fun getting it down from these uh, various levels once I've got all that extra weight on top. That's a risk I'm willing to take. So now, I've really got to get down to it and find my framing timber. I'm really trying to avoid buying new. But I may have to. But we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I'll be quick enough on a Facebook Marketplace ad catch something within 30 seconds of it getting posted beating the next person out just to save 
two dollars per length or per meter. It all adds up, doesn't it? I guess uh, somewhere at the end of all this, I guess I might uh, go over a bit of a cost um, analysis of what this whole thing cost me. But that's not necessarily driving my, uh, you know, my resolve here. My resolve is to do the best job I possibly can at whatever cost that is. Thank you.